So morning everyone. Slightly overcast for his last day. I can't believe how quick holiday's gone, they always do. Same year in, same year out. Yeah, still cold outside, it's about minus 11 I think at minute. Um, today will be busier um, because it's Saturday so all locals will be here. Um, generally speaking, we, we normally come on a Sunday, we don't ski on a Sunday. Um, and then we will, we'll, we'll have a few drinks on a Sunday as you will have seen or, you know, you will have heard me talk about. And then we ski Monday to Saturday with Monday to Friday being generally quiet because that's obviously the locals are at work. And then majority of the time when they get the Saturdays off, the, the piece are quite, um, quite busy, but they tend to open a few more runs. So for example, this week where it's put all this snow down, um, we have noticed some runs haven't been open. Um, and because it's so cold outside, the snow's still obviously going to stay there. Um, but what they'll do is they'll get the, they'll get the, um, the runs ready for when the locals get here. So, yeah. Looking forward to today. Um, if, if I'm being distracted, it's just these down here. There were some people we were talking to in the bar yesterday and she's broke a leg. So she's off to, uh, hospital. But yeah. So it's a nice little resort. Um, the hotel I will pin the name of. It's um, there's quite a few hotels around here. We paid for our ski storage um, up the mountain, so we didn't have to walk up the hill because it is quite a well. It's a five minute walk, but in ski boots carrying skis, you know it's hard work. It's high altitude as well, <coughs> but under here you have. Do, 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 do. You've got a little shop um, that's not up to much. You don't really do anything. You've got a little pizza place and you've got a little snow shop. Further down the road, down here, you've got a pharmacy. And then if you can see, basically, let me go down here. Let me zoom in. Where that car is now, this one here. If you turn left up the hill... That is where everything, um, let me zoom in again, there we go. That is where everything happens. That's where you go up the hill for the mountain. That's where all the pubs are. That's where all the shops are. Um, it's got everything you'd need really for a, for a week away. So yeah, um, I'll see what footage we can get today. Hopefully the sun's gonna come out a bit later on um, and we'll try and get as much GoPro footage and link into the video as we can. <laughs> just back in the room from the final day of skiing as you can tell uh, look how busy the car park is compared to the rest of the week that's because it's full of locals um it's been an a so -so sort of skiing day it's been too busy for my liking um it's <laughs> it's a massive massive ski resort but if you want to go over to the other places the other resorts that you you can catch on your lift pass there's only one lift that takes you, so we've had a lot of time queuing today. Um, so it's kind of been a write-off today, but just feel so lucky to be to be able to get to do this year and year out. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Just about got packed now, so um, everything's in the suitcase. Special skiing suitcase, this comes in under. Got a little net in here, fits the boots in, so helmet's in there, so I don't have to. And then a cheeky little tip. Um, I won't. Let me see if I can undo this. Yeah, I can. So. 
this is supposed to just have skis in but as you can see it's got a lot of clothes and things in as well because you're allowed 15k on your luggage uh, for your skis and they don't really specify what you can put in so because the specialist ski and suitcase already weighs 7k g before you start off and you only get 15 kg um it's better just to pile a load of clothes in um in your skis with your skis sorry so yeah that's a little trip and a hack if you're ever coming skiing if you're bringing your own skis and you're paying for the carriage just pile it up um but all in all it's been a good trip um not sure what footage um i will get between now and going home um it's just going to be going for dinner but i've not been really taking pictures of the food i do have some copies of the menus and um, so i will attach them as and when um on the, the relevant days not sure how much footage i've got and um, because it's been very sporadic and <clears throat> it's just one of them things that when you're with a group of mates on a skiing holiday there's not really that much to capture because it's the same getting up going to a bar skiing coming home shower bar eat bed so, you know, there's not that much to show you, but any trips and ticks that, tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way, I've made sure to, to include. And also, also, we're going into Touring Airport. So, again, I've never been into an airport apart from coming here on the way. So, I will get any pointers that I can do from Touring Airport for you. Um, but yeah, it's been a great trip. Very, very different. I'm hoping that I will will have enough to put a vlog together. Um, I'm not too sure. It's probably going to be day one, two, three, and then probably four, five, six, something like that. Um, ma it's mainly just me talking about the days, explaining what's around, the trips and tips, tips and tricks. Still can't say that word. Um, and then a lot of mountain footage, um, just views on views. So, yeah, very different type of vlog. Um, I will be doing... I'll, if, if people want me to, I'll do a summary. I'm not sure if people will be bothered about it or not. I'm not even sure if people will watch this vlog, but I enjoy editing it, so that's what I'll do. Um, but what I will say is 30th of April, we're, me and the wife will be off to Mexico uh, for two weeks all-inclusive at the Rio Tequila. We'll have a few things planned for that. So I think we're going to do some swimming with turtles. Um, one of their L, she'll kill me for this, but I can't pronounce it. It's the Jelha Parks, I think it is. Um, and maybe play a hard rock golf course if there's any golfers on the channel. Because uh, I'm a massive golfer, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be doing that yet. Um, and then two weeks, so that's two weeks in at the end of April. Looking forward to that. And then we will be back in Las Vegas, which majority of people watching these vlogs, or if you still watch them, that's what people will be bothered about. So, yeah, we are back in Las Vegas on October the 1st. I think it's a Sunday for six days. So, absolutely can't wait for that one. Um, so, yeah, if you're still watching at this point and you've watched them all, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, any more footage and footage of the airport, I will pop in. Thank you. So I just got to Turin Airport. Um, we are, oh, why is it focusing? There we go. We are uh, all checked in. Um, some of them are just grabbing a coffee from here. Um, there is a McDonald's upstairs, but that's closed at the moment because we're a bit early. It's 7, 12 in the morning. Um, obviously I'll get a picture of, uh, I'll get, some, get a video of duty free. Uh, very, very painless. So when we got here, um, they've got like little areas. So like D, C, B and A. And what they do is until everybody's checked in, they open all the desks. So they've, they've opened every single desk to get everyone checked in. We got checked in within about 20 minutes. Um, everyone else lights already checked in, so it was brilliant. Nice little airport, easy to get to. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see what duty free's got to offer when we get through. So I just got through security. We've got a WH Smith, as you can see. Um, there is a standard duty free. Um, it's just at bottom. There is a phone case shop. 
a little bakery type of thing. There's a lot of bag shops as well. I mean, I know they're big on the bags, um, but there's a lot of bag shops through here, but it's literally just your standard duty free. Uh, there's also a K K-Way luggage shop, um, but in terms of food places, there ain't, there ain't really anything. It's just like little coffee houses. So um, yeah, about to jump on flight. Once we land, I'll do a little summary um, and I'll see where we're at. So anyone that's um, that stayed in touch while well, I've been doing this vlog, thank you for tagging along with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the views and things that you'll see through the video. And um, barring a summer, we'll be back in April. So thank you very much. Catch you later, guys. <laughs>so yeah as I said so 1079 pounds I think it were um that was booked for six of us but one of the party couldn't go so then ended up in five um we stopped in the Relais de Alps hotel in Saudi Do um the hotel itself uh, you'll see in through my videos um massive room food are really really good because I'm a picky eater but I eat every night um very clean spacious the uh, staff were all very welcoming couldn't do enough for you um so perfect the only downside is um it was a bit of a walk to the slopes which i'm not getting any younger i mean out of my party that i went i'm the youngest so i weren't too bothered and as you'll have heard in the previous videos um me and the lad i was sharing with dave we ended up spending 30 euros each and um, having a locker up on the mountain so we just had to walk up in our strainers every day which is an absolute godsend but my advice would be on that as soon as you get there on a Saturday or a Sunday whenever your first day is head straight up to the lockers with your ski gear and get one then because we went after the first day and there wasn't any so then what we did is we walked back up the second day and before we went out skiing I thought I'd ask have you got your room just in case anybody after yesterday had finished and gone and there were luckily there were two slots so bit of advice for you there um in terms of skiing area perfect um it's part of the milky way which is one of the, i think it's probably in the top three maybe top four in europe ski areas so plenty to ski at you can do all sows you do which is where we went you can head over to cesarea which is where the LDA olympics and you can also get into france so you can ski from italy to france all on the same lift pass so inclusive of us package for £1,079. It's flights, hotel, um, ski carriage, which is £50 per head. Um, little inside tip for you, if you're taking your own skis, which I always would, 
Um, you can also shove a few extra things in there. For example, in my ski bag with my skis was salopettes, which if nobody knows what that is, that's your skiing trousers. You've got your ski jacket, socks, um, boxers, t-shirts, thermals. They all went in with my skis because you get 15 kilogram ski allowance. So that meant my actual case that I had my ski boots in was, we had 20k for that and that were at 19, but the boots weigh quite heavy. But it just saves a bag, so I don't have to take a boot bag, skis, and a suitcase. So that's a little tip for anyone that's uh, taking the skis for the first time or didn't know that. Um, always, always, always pile your clothes in with your skis. And granted, listen, if your skis get lost, your clothes are lost as well. I get that. Um, it's not ideal, but how many times does luggage go missing? So you've got just as much chance as your case going missing. So yeah. Um, the lift pass was also included for that price, um, and the lift pass for the Milky Way Saudi Do area was £189, I believe, which is mid range in terms of lift passes. So you are talking most places in France are 300 quid plus, um, and then you might go to Bansko in Bulgaria, or I'm not too sure in Andorra's price, that's where we've been for the last couple of years. I didn't really look into it, but yeah, £189, so not too bad. Um, and we got a deal on them in June for two for one lift passes. So six of us going, we only ended up paying for three lift passes, which makes the total price for the party a little bit cheaper. Um, in resort, plenty of bars, pubs. Um, personal favourite of mine is Ghost Bar. I will see if I can drop a little uh, picture of the Ghost Bar in here. If not, then obviously I can't. Um, very, very good. They've all got happy hours, four till seven. Uh, plenty of places to eat food, plenty to go at. Um, Weather-wise, we had perfect weather. Um, on a night, it was minus 14 in the day. Anything from minus two to minus seven. But Europe, as everybody knows, has been struggling with snow. It had a bit before we went down there and it had a massive dump in Monday after we'd skied. <clears throat> so we were sat in the, well, we were stood in the ghost bar uh, having some drinks on Monday. Um, it started snowing while we were in there. We came out and it was four foot deep. So absolutely fantastic. But you'll see again on the videos um, how much snow it put down. Pretty unbelievable, to be honest. And it's first time in probably in the last seven or eight trips um, that we've had a heavy snowfall while I've been out there, so perfect. Um, and yeah, so that's that's about it. I mean, Turin Airport, it's tiny. It's probably equivalent to Newcastle, but um, like you'll see, like you'll see in my video at the airport, um, it's really handy because when a bunch of flights are coming in, so there was us, Manchester, Gatwick, all took from the hotels at the same time as you do when you're abroad. There's one coach, um. And they just open all the checking desks, get everyone checked in, and then shut them all. And to, to me, that's the best way to do it. Uh, rather than having two or three people with massive queues, just get every man and the dog on them, open them up, and off you go. Uh, there is a McDonald's in the airport. There's plenty of bars. Um, if you were to Google Turin um, airport uh, restaurants and bars, you'll find them. But McDonald's is open from 11 o'clock, so if you are getting an early transfer like we did, you will miss it. Um so um yeah that that is pretty much that's pretty much it. I took best part of 300 euros, brought 70 euros back with me. Um you know, drank plenty. The food in the hotel obviously helped because we were half bored so we had breakfast and tea. You don't really eat anything on the mountain. I mean, I might have had a bowl of chips one day up mountain. Um but I took a lot of, like crisps, Twixers, Mars bars, everything with me so I could just take a snack while I were up there. Um, and coffees, teas on the mountain, you're talking two or three euros, so it is cheap. I mean, especially compared to France, where you're going to be looking at around five euros. But, um, yeah, my recommendation is anyone that's from beginner to intermediate, you'll be absolutely fine with um, Saudi Do. It's a great advert for skiing. There's, mm, there's, there's a couple of tough runs, but nothing that's too challenging. Um... I mean, for myself, I've been skiing for a long, long time. Um, so to me, it's just like second nature. But for someone learning, you could quite easily get on reds and, and blacks by end of week because they're not, they're not steep blacks. I mean, in France, you're talking like that blacks. In Italy, blacks are like that. So it, it's hell of a different um, and it's not as high up. 
But what I will say is the people are so friendly. Um, so, yeah, that that's pretty much as, as much I can give you. If you've got any more questions, any more queries, anything like that, please drop it in comments below. I'll be more than happy to... Um, to answer them, uh, unlike my Vegas vlogs, um, as I were a newbie to that, and we're going again this year, so I'm looking to pick up some more on that. Skiing is my my thing, so if there's anybody who's got any questions, um, please do let me know. Um, we're going to be looking at probably going to France next year, so if anyone's enjoyed this vlog, um, thank you very much. It's a bit of a different vlog. Um, there's not a great deal to capture in terms of. Um, footage on a day-to-day -day basis that's why the video is probably going to come out in a a day one two three four or four five six blah 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 because you're up you eat breakfast you ski you drink you go to bed there's not a great deal to it, it um i tried to get as much footage as i could obviously some feedback would be perfect if people would like to see more of one thing or more of another happy days um but yeah great holiday um even caught a bit of sun I mean, I know I'm, f I'm fair skinned in that way out, but yeah, caught a bit of sun, brilliant conditions, uh, everything went smooth. Probably going to be heading back to France next year, all being well, um, trying to get a good deal. Um, this, it's a catch-22, you can either book it now, like this is the, well, it's the end of January and we've just got back, so you can book it now for next January and knowing you've got it booked, it's not too badly priced at the minute, you're talking around a thousand pound, that's including lift pass to France, which the lift passes are a bit more expensive, but that will be self-catering. Um, I mean, there's a big group of us going, so there's anything from seven to, well, six to eight people, so when you've got that many people, if you're talking 200 pound per person difference between self-catering and um, half board, it's a big difference because chances are, but even between eight of us, we won't spend eight hundred pound um, across the week for food. Um, so, like I said, we are aiming for France, aiming for Latania, which is sat in the three valleys. So you've got Val Touraine, Courchevel, Latania, Meribel. Beauty about stopping in Latania is it's a cheaper option. You've got access to all three on your lift pass. It's literally one lift up, and it's self-catering, so there's a shop, a butcher, a bakery, and there's one bar, which is massive. It's owned by an English bloke called Tim. He's a lovely bloke, because we've been before. They've got football, they've got um, happy hour, they've got um, every bit of booze you could think of, they've got um, meals like steak and kidney pie, fish and chips, things like that. So, And I think they're about 15 euros for a meal, so even if you eat there, for six nights, seven nights, whatever it is, you're still looking at, what, 75 quid? So that's that's eating out every night as well, but obviously you will get some bacon, your sausages, your meats and stuff like that. So I think that's where we're heading next year. Um, the only thing we may have gone for is to see if there's any deals on lift passes during the summer months, because sometimes, like I mentioned earlier, they'll do a two for one, um, which basically means if there's eight of you going, you only pay for four lift passes, which does make a massive difference at three pound each. But the problem with that is, you might where you're wanting to stop might have already gone. Um, for example, these apartments in Latania, um, there's there's only two apartment blocks. There's one on one side of the mountain, one on the other, and once they're sold out, they're sold out because it's a cheap option for three valleys and it's ski and ski out. So it might be just a case of having a look around. Is it a good deal? Is it under a thousand pound? Yeah, let's just book it. If something cheaper comes along, so be it. But it also might be fully sold out and then we might be might be paying a lot more. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I appreciate it. It's not the normal sort of vlog, so thank you for so the, the let's start again. Thank you for the support. Um it's the editing and your feedback which want, makes me want to do it. Um so yeah. Like I say, any questions, any queries on the scheme front, any um, recommendations, what I should do next time, things that you'd like to see, things that you thought were pointless, just let me know down in comments, because uh, I really enjoy doing it. So thank you very much, and we, I will next be back in April. Um, so 30th of April, me and the wife are off to Mexico for two weeks. Uh, looking forward to that. Again, that'll be sort of a different type of vlog. Not sure if it's going to be a day by day or a day one, day two, because... A lot of it might be sat around a pool, it's not like a city break. Um, and then after Mexico, we have uh, Vegas booked in October. 
So we'll be heading out to Vegas from Gatwick on the 1st of October. Um, we've paid for it out of our own pockets. We've not bothered using the comp nights because the flights are just so expensive. It worked out cheaper just doing it, booking, for, uh, booking it as a package. So uh, that's what we've done. So we're stopping in Bellagio for five, five nights, six days again. So kind of spoil ourselves first time by booking Bellagio because we don't really want to go anywhere else. So yeah, got a really mega year lined up. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know if there's anything different in comments. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.